it would have been better if they remade Persona 1 and 2 first. Uh, Persona 3 Portable just released, so it, it doesn't make sense. Uh, come on, guys. No one asked for a Persona 3 remake. Okay, okay, guys. Come on. Let's let's all chill here. We're all part of the same community, right? <laughs> Oh god. What is up everybody? It's your boy Phantoms back at it again with another video. So today I wanted to cover a topic that has been on my mind for a while, not only because I read y'all's comments, but also because it is an interesting topic to talk about, at least in my opinion. Assuming that the Persona 3 remake is real, the question for today's video is this. Was a Persona 3 remake unnecessary or was it necessary? So without further ado, let's jump into both sides of the spectrum and determine which makes more sense in my opinion the dark side or the light side. To start this video off, let's begin with people's opinions on what I call the dark side. So why do I call it the dark side, you may ask? I mean, just, just for opposition purposes. But well, there are some people that get pretty pissed for whatever reason whenever they read the words Persona 3 Remake. One of the main arguments from the spectrum is about is that Persona 3 is one of the games that least deserves a remake. Some people even think that rather than remaking Persona 3, they should instead start with Persona 1 and Persona 2. And although I understand their argument, like, come on, let's all face it, we all want remakes slash remasters slash ports of various games if they're done well, of course. Although I do understand them, that doesn't mean that it is the smartest decision to do by Atlas. Y'all are gonna hate me for saying this for like the a thousandth time on my channel or something. But remember guys, these are companies and their goal is to make the most amount of money without sacrificing their reputation. So in my personal opinion, starting with Persona 3, it just makes sense. What I have preferred that they start started with Persona 1, heck yeah! I mean, the idea of all the Persona games, at least the main ones, to be remade from the ground up for next-gen consoles and, and with next-gen graphics just gets me- mm. <coughs> Sorry, <laughs> I lost it a bit there. Anyways, although I understand these concerns, I think we should look at this from a different perspective. Instead of getting upset over not getting Persona 1 into a remade, what I think we should do instead is buy the Persona 3 remake whenever it comes out. I mean, if the game comes out good, of course. If, if it's a shit game, then fuck the game. But we should instead buy the supposed remake so that Atlas can see that we do want not only old Persona titles, but just old Atlas games in general to be brought up to modern consoles or just modern platforms, whether it's in the form of a remake, ports, or remaster. Switching it up to the light side of the conversation, let's take a look at what myself and many people think that the Persona 3 remake is necessary. So let's get straight to the point here. Do I think Persona 3 deserves to be remade from the ground up with next-gen graphics that will make it look better than Persona 5? Do I even need to say more? <laughs> okay, but on a more serious note, guys, of course, of course, I think Persona 3 deserves to be remade from the ground up. And just like I mentioned on the dark side of this video, I do want Atlas to remake the first Persona games too. And the explanation for this is very straightforward to be honest. As most of you know, this channel was inspired by Persona 5 because, I mean, I literally finished Persona 5 like last year, last year of summer or something like that. And after reading y'all's comment, recommending me a bunch, and I mean a bunch of other games, really makes me happy and it makes me want to play them, of course. again. I really want to play Persona 1 and 2, as well as old SMT games that you guys have been recommending me for so many videos now. But unfortunately, there's not really a way for me to play them. But what I'm trying to get to here is that I really don't mind that Atlas remakes old titles, because as long as they come out good and polished, a new Persona fan like me and many, many other people who got introduced into Persona franchise because of Persona 5 can enjoy the awesome, loved by fans, and underrated gems that Atlas has in their vault of games like franchises. I want you guys to be completely honest here. Is it really that big of a deal that Atlas is starting with Persona 3 instead of the other titles? I mean, assuming the remake is real, of course. But again, I like to think of the glass of water half full. In other words, I like to be optimistic here. And I believe this is Atlas trying something that we the fans have been asking for. The way I see it is this, guys. This is our chance to let Atlas know that we want remakes of their old titles. Again, if they come out of course. This is our chance to buy the games, make them successful, and let Atlas know that, okay, we want a remake for Persona 1, Persona 2, SMT 1, 2, how many there are, because I would really, maybe not a remake for all of them, but 
maybe like a, a collection or something i don't know again as long as they come out good and polished i would buy old games from Atlas because i want to play them eventually okay getting a bit of topic here i mean maybe not I'm, I'm not really sure but i think my theory as to why atlas would choose persona 3 first is because persona 1 and 2 are very different kinds of games if i'm not mistaken and again i could very <laughs> i could very well be mistaken because i haven't played them but again i've only played persona 5 4 and 3 the links systems and the calendar system started with persona 3 right so if you put that into perspective i understand atlas a lot more to be honest think about it guys i think i think in atlas's perspective when the majority of people think of persona they automatically think about joker and him being on smash brothers and you think of joker persona 5 and if you dig a bit, just a bit deeper, you see Persona 4 and 3, and it isn't until very, very deep into it where you see Persona 1 and Persona 2. I know this analogy may not make sense, but I don't know, I'm just trying to explain that Persona 1 and 2 are not as popular with the masses compared to, obviously, 5 and then 4 and 3 with this modern release this past January. They're not as deep as Persona 1 and 2. I mean, once they remake, or maybe they just port Persona 1 and 2 to modern consoles, obviously a lot more people are gonna get to know these games. But as of right now, all we can hope for is for a remix. Again, I'm not saying Persona 1 and 2 are bad, I just, I want to play them eventually, but to me, it makes sense why they remade 3, or they are remaking 3, again, I'm assuming it's, <laughs> the, the league is correct, instead of Persona 1 or Persona 2. But hey, let's hope we get remakes of all of the Persona games, come on, who wouldn't be interested in that? You know, imagine a remake of Persona 1, 2, 3, 4, and uh, Persona 5? I mean, I don't know about a 4th re-release of Persona 5, would you guys buy that? I don't know about me, maybe, there will have to be a substantial amount of content, but come on, a fifth a fourth release i don't think I, I, I wouldn't buy that so what do you guys think do you think persona 3 is a good choice for a remake or what other persona games slash actress franchises would you have preferred to get the remake treatment let me know in the comment section below again i try my best to read all of them and answer all the comments as much as possible right now guys there are some videos on your screen so if you could check them out i would really appreciate it it's been your boy phantoms and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out